Alright guys, I am back. No, that is not me. Well, not me anymore. <laughs> That is the dead Danny DeVito. Something funny about this is that it still says it has two level ups, but I can't like apply these level ups, which is kind of funny. I can't still, I, I can't actually dress them up if I want to. Like if I get some of this armor over here, like with this epic chitin armor on it, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but I think I'm going to keep them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I actually, you guys are probably putting two and two together right now. Am I actually going to do this for the meme? Oh man, I don't know. You know what? Let, let's go over here. Do I have anything that I could do this with? Sheesh, I do. Oh my gosh. This is totally demonetizable, but, uh... <laughs> Jeez, this is really gonna... Golly. And there we go! Hey, we've got a... We've got a Egg Sacred Fan... Well, it looks like he... Yeah, okay, well, at least it looks like he's still wearing underwear. Like, you can see the blur doesn't match his skin color, so that's good, I guess, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Oh, but hey, there you go. We got a dead Danny DeVito, kind of a sacrificial lamb sort of meme. Something that I wanted to bring up was that, you know what? Boy, am I stupid. <laughs> this has happened a few times by now, but sheesh. Anyways, over here, we have heckin' armor. Flak armor, as well as some other stuff, like straight up riot armor. Really good high level riot armor that I could actually wear. I completely forgot about this that we got during the loot boxes and stuff. So, what I want to do is that. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, between me pausing and recording or whatever last episode or whatever it is by now, <laughs> I did have to make more forges. I did go out and got a ton more raw metal, but I'm still sure it's nowhere near the. It's going to get us nowhere near that 5,000 that we're going to need, but it's still a pretty good amount over here. Uh, we're going to need like 5,000 or something like that just to make the heckin' tech replicator because there's no, there's not enough inventory slots in the, uh, in the city terminals. Golly, that is so stupid. But yeah, there's not enough inventory slots in the city terminals, unfortunately, but, uh, Riot. What do we have in terms of Riot? What, what is the, okay, so we have legendary chest plate. Really, really good. Uh, we have epic leggings. Really, really good. Epic boots. Uh, another thing of epic, but which one's the, okay, so that one's better, because that's 300 armor rating. Uh, gauntlets, we have 154 for that, and the mask, or the helmet, which is a legendary. Golly, we have a really, really good set of riot armor here, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh yeah! I'm like, this is what I look like right now. I look pretty heckin' uh, sweet, but uh, I'm like, my gigantic chin is kind of in the way of the whole mask, so <laughs> it looks kind of stupid. Uh, we can make it look even stupider by putting on the party hat. Hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, man, I look so dumb, but I love it, though. Hey, it's so stupid. It's a good little meme, you've got to admit. Anyways, I'll keep, I'll keep the uh, that in there just because I, I, I think the, uh, let's see, hyperthermic insulation is 30. Compared to 27, it's comparable, but you never know if I need that in the desert or something. But anyways, in terms of, like, flak, uh, let's see. I'm like, I've got old flak, which is all epic and rare. I guess I could figure out, like, which flak is, like, terrible. And I could, of course, go grind that up, salvage it up, and get some of the materials back and actually use some of the metal to make the tech replicator that we're wanting to make. But in terms of, uh, boots, we don't have any boots, so I, could, I can keep those boots. But leggings, we have 301 armor rating. And two six blah 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 blah. Yeah, no, this is this armor rating here is much much better. But the ceiling on the legendary ones is better, and it's only a marginal increase, three hundred one compared to two ninety four. Yeah, I think we're going to grind these up, these old pants up, and uh, let's see, what about chest piece, three hundred three compared to five twenty eight, and that's epic compared to. Oh no, that's epic. I thought that was rare. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to grind those up. So leggings and chest plates, gauntlets. How are those doing? These are legendary compared to rare. I guess I'll do the same things there. Especially, I'm like 374 armor rating. That's a significant amount. Uh, I'll be losing about like 80 or so armor rating there. But you know what? Uh, I think I think I'll take it. I think I'll take it. And that seems to be about it. I think I'm going to be able to grind the rest of these up and get some of the materials back, which will be great. And then, of course, in terms of riot, I could actually grind some of that as well. And crossbows and stuff. Yeah, we don't have a crossbow any better than our current one because it's heckin' uh, primal, isn't it? Sheesh. Uh, guns? Yeah, we can get rid of some of the guns like the Lonic Rive. Oh, yeah, the sword. Yeah, that's going to get us a lot of metal. How many swords do we have in here? Swords. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we have two swords. How many, uh, how many rifles? Uh, let's see. So we have a legendary long neck. I guess I'll, I'll get rid of the, the ones that are not 195. And then I'll get rid of this epic assault rifle. I'm just getting rid of the ones that are low level, low tier, all that kind of stuff. Crossbow, I don't remember if you needed metal to make that, but for right now I guess I'll keep that in there. Uh, metal hatchet, garbage. 
Guess I'll grab that and we could uh, salvage it. Same thing with the sickle. And oh yeah, really good shotgun there, yeah. Or a uh, pump action shot. Yeah, I definitely want to keep that. Definitely want to get some ammo for it too. Because I love having that. That is like the best DPS in terms of a weapon in the game. So definitely want to keep that. Anyways, uh, epic cut. I guess I can grind that up. I don't like I didn't mean to, but hey. Oh yeah, you can see I've got my folders back. Whoop, 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 whoop. So that's good. Let's put all this stuff up in here and let's see how many materials we're going to get when we salvage them all. Let's just double check. Make sure we're not salvaging in the wrong. Th oh yeah, by the way, because I'm getting a bunch of metal, I did upgrade my pick. So now it's primal. But unfortunately, I don't. It costs a bunch of metal if I want to use a, uh, what do you call them? Whatever these things over here at the augmentation station are called reagents. If I want to make like a uh, damage reagent and make the weapon damage go all the way up to like 700% or whatever, then that's going to cost 50 metal per upgrade. And that's really, really expensive, especially when we're trying to get metal, right? So this 388 uh, weapon damage is still pretty good. So I think I'm going to keep it at that, but it's better than the rare or whatever I had beforehand, so either way, let's just salvage all this trash and boom! 460 metal right there, you guys. Nice. And a little bit of polymer, a little bit of a uh, cementing paste, too. Speaking of cement paste, I did uh, mention just moments ago, probably, or last episode, whatever, how it depends on how I edit the episode, okay, sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I said I wanted more silica pearls for the Tyrannus saddle, and well, I went to a beaver to- okay, I'm- okay, I'm short, too. <laughs> But I went to some beaver dams, and, well, I got some silica pearls from those. I thought I had enough, but I'm short by two. Uh, I guess I have to go around and get some more heckin' silica pearls, whatever. Another thing I wanted to make was a chemistry station. I should be able to make one now, right? Yeah, okay, so we're just short by 100 spark powder. We should be able to make that pretty easily. Pretty easily, right? Especially because I'm using a lot of spark powder over here. Surely I could salvage up uh, a decent amount of spark powder just to make the chemistry chemistry a station. Therefore, I can actually craft more spark powder faster, right? So, let's see. There we go. Just try and salvage up a good amount. There we go. Yeah, a lot right there. Yeah, okay. So, we have 100 right there. Okay, so we have enough. We can make the chemistry station now, right? Let's see. Chemistry station. And boom! Now, this thing does run off of, I think, gasoline. But we have tons of gasoline. <laughs> I think I said this last episode by now. Uh, I accidentally just crafted a bunch of heckin' gasoline. Uh... I guess I'll put it right here next to the generator. I'm like, if I'm going to be... Yeah, let's pick that up. If I'm going to be using gasoline for this thing, I might as well put it next to the machine that has a bunch of gasoline in it already, right? Sheesh. But anyways, put the chemistry station or chemistry bench. There we go. All right, finally got it correct that time. Sheesh. Bench, not station. But anyways, this crafts six at a time. So if I want to make one thing of spark powder... Oh, yeah, I need the gasoline. But I can make way more spark powder much faster in this, uh, in this chemistry station now. So if I want to make a bunch of spark powder, like... Okay, I can make 11 crafts. I guess I, yeah, I don't have enough flint or stone. Whatever. <laughs> but now I'm able to make a lot more of it a lot faster. I think it makes it six at a time. So it's essentially six mortar and pestles in one device, which is really, really cool. Ooh, anyways, we've got some hyperthermia outside. Probably, be pun probably because of my riot gear, which I don't know. I might want to get some. Ah, sheesh. I didn't think we'd be getting hyperthermal insulation, like, problems outside, just straight up outside. I thought, like, in the desert, yeah, that makes sense. But sheesh, we're getting it, like, straight up outside in normal conditions. Golly. And I don't have, I don't have the materials just lying around for me to make, like, reagents to make this thing better in hyper and hypothermal, like, conditions and stuff. So, golly, that's going to be expensive if I want to upgrade this thing. Ugh. Well, whatever. Just kind of want to update you guys on all the stuff that I've got going on here. Uh, all the progress I've been making. And the, I guess, lack of progress in terms of the Utyranus saddle. I thought we had enough to make it, but nope. Just need two more silica pearls, so... Maybe whenever I pause the recording and come back, I'll have those two silica pearls. Who knows? But for right now, we should be able to make a lot of spark powder. Because I'm going to need it if I'm going to be smelting tons of metal, right? Sheesh. But anyways... Like I said, I'm probably going to have to pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in just a moment. And this, uh, this dead Danny Vito uh, despawns in like an hour and 44 minutes. I don't know if he'll still be here when I come back, but <laughs> that's always going to be a funny little meme there, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how many of these we can make. We can make uh, 30 more crafts. Okay. Uh, I guess it's flint that I'm missing now. Sheesh. Good thing I have a primal pick, so I can get a lot of flint real quick if I really need to. So, boom! 38 flint right there. 74, 111, 112. Yeah, I'm... I, whatever... I, Whenever I'm going around the map, by the way, on the topic of harvesting materials and all that kind of stuff, I'm running out of, like, metal-rich rock to mine. Like, I'm going all over the map, and I'm running out of locations to find, like, a metal-rich rock, so... 
I need to wait for those things to like heck and respawn before I I don't know. Either I look at like the resource map and find out like the specific locations where to look for metal rich rock or what, because I just can't find them naturally anymore. I'm even going into like the winter biome and even the scorched earth biome, trying to find more metal rich rock, and I am running out because I've been getting a lot of it off camera, you know, for the tech replicator that we're making, as well as uh, originally for the enforcer that we're trying to make. So sheesh, I am running out of heckin' uh, metal rich rock things. Golly. Anyways, let's go over here to the chemistry bench. Let's go through all this stuff up inside of me. Let's turn this thing on and let's see how many we can craft. A hundred or so crafts right there. And you can see exactly how fast that is crafted. And it's making them six at a heckin'. Wait, is it six or is it eight? It's twelve. It's twelve at a time, isn't it? Hold on. Or is it sixteen? Man, that's going by so I can fast I can't even tell. Sheesh. Let's grab all the smart powder real quick. Let's see. It's 12 at a time. Oh my gosh, it's actually 12 at a time. Oh my gosh, I thought it was six. Holy man, we're making tons of... Man, I'm going to need that if I'm going to be making shotgun ammo. Man. God, that's just going to cost even more metal. Ugh. <laughs> well, oh man, well speaking of metal, I, I, I inadvertently mined a little bit of metal there. So hey, that's always good, right? <laughs> but anyways, we've got spark powder for days, so I'm not going to need any more spark powder for quite a long time over here hopefully quite a while right sheesh there you go all my four how many do i have here i have seven forges golly well anyways i'm going to pause the recording try and get more heckin metal and i guess i'll see you guys here in just a bit and uh i uh well this is a this is a very very weird picture right here just uh how are you going to explain, if someone walks in on you watching this video, how are you going to explain this picture to them? Like, what in the world? Like, d <laughs> oh my god, it literally looks like a heckin' sacrificial altar with myself on it. Like, what? <laughs> Anyways, we're, I'm done memeing around, I'm going to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Hopefully I get more metal, sheesh. Alright guys, I am back. I was just out getting a bunch more metal. I think I even have a little bit in my inventory, like a couple hundred maybe. And look what I found on the way back. The same exact one that we took on the very first time. The first element node slash element vein or whatever this is. Now, I did do a little bit more reading into this stuff. And I think, remember the one that we just took on earlier or last episode or whatever it is by now. <laughs> but that one had, I think, 50,000 health? And apparently, 50,000 health means it's a hard element node slash vein. And 25,000 health, which I think is... How much the first one we took on? That one means medium. Easy is 10,000 HP. So I, I guess we're going to go up to this thing real quick. See how much and uh, corrupt, which I guess is the highest level one, is 150,000. So let's just hope that it's not 150,000. If it's... Oh, Jesus, it's already been activated. What is it? Uh, it is 10... Oh, man, it's an easy one. Ooh, okay, okay, that's good. We should be able to just <laughs> sail right through this, no problem, I guess, huh? Because I... Th I can't remember for sure, I'm gonna to have to go watch my own footage, or something like that. But I'm pretty sure the first one we took on was 25,000, and then the second one was 50, that we might need to like clean out. Corrupted critters that are kind of straight, yeah, look at that, there's still two hostiles around. But this time around, I'm a little bit more prepared, I do have like, uh, I, I did bring a thousand element dust on my... Where in the world is this critter at? <laughs> on my enforcer, he's probably eaten a pretty good amount by now, so who knows how much he has left on him, but... Sheesh, I cannot find where these critters are. These two supposed corrupted critters that should be near here. Okay, I don't know where... Oh, over there! Over there! They're attacking it! Oh, kill it! There we go, got it! Corrupted Dilophosaurus. Yeah, let's... Oh, and there's another one around here as well. I'm hearing the music. Was that the only one? Yeah, there's still one hostile remaining. And you can find it, though. Oh, here we go! Dilophosaurus right here! Or something! Yep! There we go, finally, now it's gonna start. It's five waves, isn't it? Yes. Five waves. It's already down like 136 or so health or something like that. We do need to watch out. They're probably gonna be pretty easy. They're probably only gonna be like Dilophosaurus and stuff like that. Because it is easy, according to how much HP the core has, which is what I'm gonna start killing it. Looks like there's a rock drake over there. That thing's like heckin' cloaked. Why is there a rock drake over here? Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, wave one. Should be on his way over here, but I, I just don't see anything. Maybe it's just going to be Tyrannos, maybe it's just going to be Dilophosaurus. horses. I don't know. Oh, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing stuff like all the way back there, but they're tiny little critters. I think they're all Dilophosaurus, horses, so yeah, look at that. Pretty much nothing but Dilos. 
That's, that is it. Yeah, th this should be an absolute and utter breeze. Hey, duh. There we go. Kill these guys before they even get anywhere near the defensive spikes and stuff. At least the defensive spikes are... Uh, on the other side, so we'll be able to defend the core, but for right now, yeah, we've already defeated all those critters, I believe. Let's go over here, see if the- oh, there's a corrupted Turan on there as well. Let's actually start teleporting, too. You remember that? Yep. Seeing a, uh, okay, let's go get the Turan on, because it's going to start attacking the core- yep. Sorry, attacking the core around the bat, and there we go, we got it, no problemo. Alright. We have more dilos and stuff over here, yep. <laughs> just walk right past and just shove it out of the way like that, sheesh. <laughs> Alright, there's one over here attacking. Looks like another corrupted Turan on it back there as well. Let's go take care of these guys, and remember, once we actually defeat this thing, because we, we totally are, eh, I'm not bragging, eh. <laughs> but once we defeat this thing, do not want to mine the core until we've mined all these little, like, other spikes and stuff. I have gotten comments saying, hey, if you mine the core, maybe that, like, gives you all the ma uh, materials from all the other spikes, that way you don't have to, like, waste any, any time or whatever. I don't know if that's true or not, I guess we could find out later once we actually defeat... Oh, okay, there's one more. Which will actually defeat all the critters here, but speaking of such, I need to go find this last straggler critter real quick, but uh, I'm not seeing anything. And because it is so easy and they're, they're likely little Dilo fellows, it's very hard for me to see them because they're so heckin' small. So, let's see, is it? Nah, it's not back here. Man, hopefully I don't have a sneaky little Dilo breaking down every heckin' defense and gets to the core and kills that too, sheesh. Okay, we have, we have corrupted Tranons over here. Okay. I guess it was a corrupted Turan on. Man, I hate I hate that they have flyers as part of that, because it's hard to tell, and they can fly away and start attacking random critters like that, too. But at least we got him. It was a corrupted Turan on, that was a Shraggler. 19 hostiles and wave 2. This thing's already down almost 300 HP, which is pretty difficult, because it has, like, less... Day. That's what I talked about last time. You'd think that having less HP would make it a higher level one, because it's harder to defend, when it has so, so little HP. Anyways, seems like Turanons are... The main critters here, they're attacking us right off the bat. Thankfully, we're able to heck and one shot them, no problem, with our four times damage to corrupted critters. All right, oh, another one over here. There you go, got it. And another one behind us. I'm like, they're doing basically no damage, but like, still, it's damage nonetheless. Speaking of such, we do have dilos and stuff over here. Man, I just killed like three of them right there in one hit. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm doing like 65 damage. Oh, am I even. There we go, got that one. Yeah, it seems like I'm doing way more damage to my actual defenses than I am to the critters half the time. It looks like we have to have, actually have Stegos and stuff over here we need to kill too, so there we go. More Dilos. There were 19 hostiles, I don't know how many are left, six. Six hostiles remain. But where are they at? Hopefully they're not going to be more Tyranons, because that's going to be even harder. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple of them over here. There we go, got both of them. It should be down. And here's three more, wow. Basically, all of them were just suck. They're doing nothing. Sheesh. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm loving that, dude. That's what I'm talking about. The terrain. Here's the last one over here. I can see it, like, little splashings. There we go. We got it. And that should be wave two defeated. Hostiles approaching three out of five now. All right. We've got battle music and wave three music playing at the same time. <laughs> all right. Well, we do need to watch out for terrain. Also, we might want to go straight to the core. See if we could uh, defend it from any flying crow. Oh, yep, I'm seeing Tyrannos all the way over there already. See if there's any more from any other direction. Yep, come from both of these directions. Three Tyrannos over there. How many hostiles are we working with this time? 22. Okay, so a little bit more than last time. And looks like they're trying to wrap around and avoid me, but nope, that's not going to work. There's another one over here, it seems like. You got those. There's a regular one for some reason trying to attack us. <laughs> And it looks like one of them got stuck behind a rock. Nice! Stuck between a rock and a hard place. And a spiky element vein place. <laughs> Stupid. Is that it? No, no, it's still attacking. There we go. And there's a dot. No, I defeated my own. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure I just broke the whole entire uh, little spike node thing right there. Yeah. And we have raptors over here now. Yeah. This was wave three, I believe it was. So it seems like they are getting... Harder hitting critters. I think on like wave two or three, it's oh here we go. Sheesh, there's like five dilos all the way over here. There's four right here, and there's a fifth one already attacking. And boom. Alright. That should be all of them, yes. Any more? Oh yep. A few more of them stuck over here. That's good, just like last time. <laughs> Sheesh. Alright, got them. How many are left? One left. One lone straggler. Trying to take this win for the corrupted fellows. But that's not gonna happen with me around here, is it? How much else does this have? 8, 860 out of 10,000. I think the last one might be... Oh, here it is. Stuck behind all this stuff. Nice. 
very good location. It's doing 12 damage per hit. I'm doing 65 to my own. Oh, man, yeah, we're out of stamina. Yeah, we need to take a stamina break. But thankfully... Thankfully, our energy is basically full because of our uh, element element dust that I have in my inventory, or my enforcer's inventory, so he's able to replenish that energy no problem. Oh. All right, we're going to probably have slightly harder critters now. We had Dilos first, then I think we had Tyrannons, and then I think we had... Oh, here we go, and then we had Raptors. Speaking of such, there's this pesky little Raptor going up above this rock, and he's going to get one hit! Uh, I did 130 damage right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm doing way more damage than any of these critters. All right, we have a Tyrant on. There we go. Got it in midair. Sheesh. Any more around here want to come? Try and attack the core? Because I will defend! And I will survive, Copy Shrike. Stupid. All right, we're getting more attacks over here. Corrupted Raptors and such. All right. There we go. See, I'm, I'm trying to avoid hitting the actual thing and, and damaging it more than they're actually damaging it. But I, I have, like, no choice, you know? Golly, there's one attacking on that side. I don't know how much damage it's doing. It's not telling me, but... There we go. Got that one. How many are we working with? How many are left, at least? Ten more left. Probably, like, ten of them were all... Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of them are stuck over here. Looks like two or three. Or just one, I guess. <laughs> Looks like there's multiple, though. But let's see if there's any more of them stuck behind these... Ra oh, yep, here's another raptor right here. Seems like they're not doing, uh, sending out dilos anymore. Seems like they're sending out only raptors and tyrannons and stuff. Oh, wait. I might have spoken too soon, because there we go! Four dilos in one hit. Oh, and there's another one over here. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. There's another one right there. Two left. Two hostiles remain. Let's see if we can find them before. Oh, they're all. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, I thought one was attacking the core, but it's not the case. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these, like, corrupted nodules and stuff, which is great. Any more of them over here? No, not seeing any more of them. They might be stuck in that little central lane, though. Do need to keep an eye on that, because there are a lot of creators that seemingly get stuck behind these little things over here, as well as the rocks up there, too. I want to take a stone. Oh, yep, here they are. Here they are, the final ones, and they're down. All right, nice. So we should be on wave five now, right? Yep, wave five. Yep, wave five of five. Hostiles are approaching. Let's regain some stamina. Regen some stamina. Wait for the Tyrannos to fly in and try and attack. And, of course, we're going to kill them in one hit. No brag. Yeah. Man, seven more element dust right there. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm glad I actually have it. It's making me... It's still even... Oh, sheesh. There's one right there. Even though we're a little bit more prepared with the element dust and even better, like, melee damage and stuff like that, it, it is still kind of somewhat tough trying to, like, go to each and every, like, defense and try and defend each and everything because, remember, if, if, if any of these, like, spike things go down, that is less element dust, less juicy loot for us in the end. So definitely don't want to lose any of these, especially <laughs> to myself. Oh, jeez, right as I say that, I knew it, I knew it, I broke it myself, golly. Well, thankfully, the core is still up. Oh, jeez, maybe spoke too soon, hopefully not. All right, oh, jeez, what is that? Oh, it's a Sego. I should be able to kill, oh, all right, kill them, nice. Golly, I'm still sour about that one heckin' spike right there going down. Do need to watch out, though. Seven more. Seven more hostile, oh, there's another one or two or so. And, of course, that central lane probably has a few of them as well. Probably stuck behind... Oh, jeez. Couple Stegos. Teleport. Oh, jeez. I'm attacking an Anklo. All right. Not that big of a deal. Kill the Stego. There we go. Got him. All right. Oh, yep, yep. I'm seeing a few more of them over here. This might be the last... Oh, jeez. This might be the last of them. This might be the last of them. There we go. Is that it? Might want to go check on a node. It... No... Everything's still purple over here, which indicates... Because I think it turns to blue. Oh, yep, there's one over there. But how many are left? Oh, jeez, I just did another 130 damage. Sheesh. That's probably like a heckin' million element node I just... Or element dust I'm missing out on from attacking that golly. All right, let's kill this one. Is that the final one? Is that the final... No, no, there's another one over there. Man, I'm actually getting, like, over-encumbered. And I need to take a stamina break, too. There we go. And... Oh, element vein protected! We did it, you guys! Every vein, every spike has turned blue, which means, hey, time to loot haters! Oh my gosh, oh, and by the way, last time, we had a, a prime, or we had like a rare pick or something like that, but now we have primal, which is great, because we're going to get way more stuff. So there we go, three element, yes, because remember, we are missing element as well, we have like 98 or something like that at home, and we do need like straight up element, if we want to make that tech uh, replicator, which of course, uh, the main thing we're missing is metal for that, but also a little bit of element, and we should be f completely fine now. Now, I do kind of want to see, like, if I mine each and every one of these things, will I still get 
stuff from mining out the core. I assume I would, but just kind of myth must whether or not mining out the core would essentially just mine out every one of these little straggler strands. I don't know if that's the case or not. I guess we'll find out here in just a moment, but man, 2,000 element dust in my inventory. Golly, that's going to be great. We might actually be able to afford that level 135 or whatever that was. Just because why not, right? Uh, but then again, it, it does feel like that level like 123 or whatever it was. It, it feels like it's a better deal overall. And I wonder though, would it be the same way a rat like inverse if I mined all these out with the core? be destroyed. I don't know. Anyways, we do need to take a little bit of water. Thankfully, I have two canteens, so there we go. Sheesh! 29 more element right there. Nice. And let's get some more food. There we go. And I think this is the last one. I think this is the last one. Let me check out my guy real quick. Just to see. I think it is. Yep, I think this is it, you guys. Let's see. Is this going to destroy the core? Hopefully it doesn't, but let's see. It doesn't. Okay, that's great. And let's go mine out the core. Well, I guess because it is easy, it's probably going to give us a lot less stuff. Yeah, 6,500. 6,500. It's still giving us a ton of stuff, though. Like, golly. And boom. We got another 1,800 element dust. 20 or so more straight up element. Really, really good amount of materials overall, you guys. We did really, really great job right there. And it was an easy one, so I eh, can't complain too much. But at the same time, we got what we came here for. Do I even have carry weight to, uh... Yeah, I've got carry weight. I've got carry. How much metal? I have 314 metal, which is essentially uh, 157 more like actual pieces of metal ingots, I think, right? Because, of course, you need two metal to get one metal ingot. So I don't know how much more I'm going to need to get that 5,000 metal. Uh, I, I have been also, I, I forgot about this earlier on, but I have been killing like enforcers and stuff as well. Because, of course, they do give you the metal, like a scrap metal and stuff. Yeah, these aren't going to give me anything, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, how much how much actual stuff did I get? So I got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 135 element dust. Holy! And then I got another 117 element shards and 50 element. Golly! Oh my gosh! That's, and that's just on an easy one. I can only imagine how much we would have got on that because it seems like we got a medium one last time, right? I, I can only imagine we would have got way more from that medium. And if we were able to take on that seemingly hard one over there that had like 50,000 HP, I'm like, we were. I feel like we could have taken it on if I had the element dust to sustain our. And for how much, how much damage does it have? He's basically full health. He's, I don't know. I know it's been like two, three, four minutes or so since we were like actually fighting critters, but still, sheesh. Usually this guy's like really slow to regen, but he's already full health, so it seems like he take, has taken basically no damage during that, so that's great. Anyways, let's just go back home real quick, go throw some of this metal up inside of the smeltery forge things. <laughs> and then I'll have to pause the recording again and kill more enforcers or keep on going around the map. I, I, I've been mainly in the wintry area, climbing that like mountain and stuff, uh, getting a pretty good amount of metal, metal? Metal rich rock. I keep saying mineral rich rock because I played heck in StarCraft 2 a whole bunch and they have rich mineral veins and stuff and you can get a lot of like, but whatever. But anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyways, oh my gosh, how, how much like shred of element dust and stuff do we have now though? Hold on, let's go see. So let's throw all these in here and then the element shards we can actually, uh, there we go. And now how much, uh, let's just go to a, uh, we have 16,000 element dust, oh my gosh. Holy, and I have like more enforcer like uh, things. I've been only getting enforcer blueprints if they're uncommon or better because of course the common ones are basically worthless to us now, right? But here's the ones we were looking at, level 135 and level 123. The only things we're missing are the polymer, and of course those are all stored up inside the fridge. So if we can make this tech replicator, we're going to be able to make, I'd hate to say it, but I might try and save up to get both. Like it's kind of crazy, but like, if we make this level 135 right now, that's going to cost us 13,000 element dust. We're going to have like maybe 3,000 left over, but remember we need like 10,000 to make the level 123 over here. So we need to probably take on another element vein, defend another element vein, get enough element dust from that. And even then, yeah, we're going to need 1,200 metal ingots and then 1,600 metal ingots. Golly! Thankfully, it seems like we have enough, uh, more than enough oil for both of them, so that should be great. And of course, Palmer, that should be no problem nowadays with all the heckin', uh... I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna need to make another, like, dedicated fridge for all these element nodes I have. Sheesh. There we go. Or nodules. Uh, there we go. Element nodules. So how much I, I got 300? I would, I thought I would've got way more than 321 right there, but whatever. Anyways, just go throw them all up inside of... Aw. 
And hopefully, I have room. Oh, yep, I've got room. All right, no problemo. Boom! Barely have room for all that. Yeah! And let's go check on how much element we have in total. Because I am kind of kidding. So we have 96 right there. We have 146 in total now. Nice. And we have 119 element shards, but we have like another 900 or so over here. But I forgot to put it up, so let's go see. Shard Roo. Yep, we have 906 right there. So we have like over a thousand of these element shards, which apparently we can go like, oh, sheesh. I'm going to go put that up in the valuables one. Just kind of keep things organized, you know. But there we go. We, oh, how much do we have? 100 or 1,025? Golly, 1,025 element shards. A small chunk of strange, highly advanced material. It dissolves when transferred across arcs. Ooh, yeah. Don't want to do that. Thankfully, I don't transfer anything across arcs. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, I think I lost my Pokeballs when I heckin' died. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, except for the one that was in my hotbar, though. But I thought I, I think I had, like, two or three of them, like, in my... Pokeball's little folder there. Uh, I had to remake all my folders, of course, but uh, I guess I'll keep one extra there. Or maybe I'll just keep one in total and then get rid of the one in my hotbar. And then I need to go get the shotgun over here. We might actually have some materials. Uh, where was the, uh, let's see, shotgun. There is right there, 199% weapon damage. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to need, like, a uh, simple shotgun ammo. And that does require gunpowder and stuff. But thankfully, I'm able to make way more gunpowder than, uh, I was previously, because of course we have this chemistry bench over here, so how much gunpowder can I make? Thankfully I have a pretty good amount of sh uh, charcoal as well. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's get like, let's see if we can make a hundred. Sounds like a pretty good, yep, a hundred crafts right there. And we're going to need to turn this thing on as well, but uh, we're going to need to get some gasolina over here. So there we go, let's get a hundred, just because I have heckin' so much of it, so <laughs> why not, right? And then turn on, and let's make all the gas, or all the gunpowder. Now how much do we make at a time? Seems like we're making six at a time, so we should have 600, right? I think so. I think we're going to get like 600 or so crafts. So that's going to be great. I'm going to need to combine that together with something to make a bunch of a uh, like shotgun ammo. But thankfully, the shotgun ammo is going to be really good for defending myself. I'll tell you that much. So let's see. Shotgun shells. We're going to need three gunpowder per thing. And then, of course, three simple bullets. Ooh. Now, how much do simple bullets require in terms of like gun? Okay, six gunpowder a piece. Golly. And then, of course, just one metal ingot. So I guess that's good, right? So, I don't know. Let's see if we can make, I don't know, another... 150 of these. That way, hopefully, we have 250 crap. Okay, so we can do 74 right there. Not bad. Probably need more charcoal, right? How much more? Yeah, oh, jeez, yeah. I accidentally put in a thousand there, didn't I? Sheesh. Either way, we should have enough gunpowder and stuff to make a decent amount of bullets. So, real quick, though. Let's make, uh, simple bullets. I don't know. Let's try and make, like, I don't know, 50 of these. Oh, jeez, not 150, but 50. Let's see. Can I make, yep. I can make 50 of those, no problem. No. And then, of course, I'm going to need three of those per... Uh, shotgun shell, unfortunately, but it, it does make sense, right? It is a heckin' shotgun shell, right? Oh, jeez, I don't know what's going on with that audio. That's kind of crazy. Hopefully it's, <laughs> hopefully it's not making you guys deaf like it almost made me right there. Sheesh, I was blindingly deafening. God. But anyways, we're still gonna need a lot of gunpowder on top of the gunpowder we're spending to make this simple pistol ammo, or simple bullet. So, I don't know, we can probably stop, like, right now. There you go. And then, of course, let's see if we can make... Okay, so we make, uh, 50 shotgun shells right there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need more simple bullets. So honestly, or, or did I say 50? I meant 20. 20 and 20 is still a pretty good number, I'd say. No, not that bad. Pretty good amount to defend myself from critters, I'd say, but usually I keep like 100 or so on me at all times. So once I get up to that 100 number, I'll probably start carrying them around. And if I ever ever get in a predicament, of course, I'll be able to defend myself from a distance. And you guys might have noticed that finally, uh, because I did die, I did spawn in with all my skins and stuff. And I did skin my sword with the aberrant sword, the aberration sword. I remember I originally wanted to do that really early on in the series because I got a comment about it. But unfortunately, I threw it out like a piece of garbage. But now I have it back because I <laughs> foolishly killed myself from eating a heckin' element nodule or a uh, corrupted nodule. So, but anyways, uh, let's, oh yeah, let's see how much, how much metal do we have now. How, many, how, how much closer are we to making the, let's see, metal ingots? Ooh, yeah, that's a lot right there, golly. Oh, yeah, I still need, oh, man, another, uh, about 1,200 right there, sheesh. And we currently have about 3,000 in total, so we're about three-fifths the way there, about 60 per, oh, yeah, I forgot there's, uh, scrap metal ingots here as well, but I don't think I have very many of those. Of course, uh, I've gotten those exclusively. Oh, sheesh, yeah. These are all still turned on, and they're not even smelting anything, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, let me turn all these off, just so I don't waste any of that spark powder. I'm like, I have a pretty good amount of spark powder already, but I, I just don't want to waste it either way, right? Well, anyways, let me pull all the metal over here off of my enforcer, and I guess my vault, okay? Jeez, that's kind of weird, I didn't know I had that, but whatever. And I guess I'll split this between two of these, just because why not, right? Oh, this one. Yep, there we go. Light fire, and light fire on this one as well. 
And let's get those to smell. So how much do we have? Like 500 or something right there. So we're going to get like maybe 250 something. Did I say like 256 or 257 or something? I don't know. Right now it's another 199 right there. That's going to take us up to 3,281 total metal ingots. We're, we're only going to get like another 200 something from the metal I'm smelting right now. So we're going to be like 3,500 out of 5,000 to make the heckin' tech replicator. So I'm going to need to kill more enforcers. I'm going to need to... Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm glitched. I'm glitched. I'm glitched. Oh, no. Oh, I'm floating. I'm floating. And I've got a party hat on, too. Hey. It's a... Uh, but I'm, oh, oh, I'm back. I'm back, you guys. Whew. <laughs> but I'm going to need to go around and kill a bunch of enforcers, get more metal-rich rocks, and some other stuff to try and get a bunch of heckin' metal, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Hopefully, I'll be able to make a heckin' tech replicator when I come back, because <laughs> we're slowly getting closer and closer to being able to craft one of those bad boys. So, gonna pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> 